Hi, Mindy Browse here, um, F and &E Director. All right, guys, we're on cycle two, drawing. Um, and this is gonna be week two, mirror images. This is just a refresher for my tutors to remind them what we talked about at tutor meeting um, and the focus we're gonna have um, on the specific keys for mirror images for our campus. All right, so tutors, remember your foundations guide, page 82 talks about mirror images. And then in the book, Drawing with Children, Page 67 through 69 will give you some mirror imaging warm-ups. I'm gonna let you choose how you um, how much warm-up you do. Remember, we are from enter to clean up, enter to exit, activity to clean up, done, 30 minutes. So, um, and remember another class will need to be come in, so you need to stay on track. Um, plus it helps, you know, 30 minutes is what we have a lot of. So, all right, so today we're doing mirror imaging, um, and we're gonna, start the lesson with our kids we're going to remind them we're doing drawing and then we're going to refresh with oils first we'll talk about oils so you talk about oils for a minute or two then we're going to talk about mirror images all right you're going to show them um half an image so this is half an image right here what do you think it could be um so oh it's a butterfly most of them will know that okay so then you explain that a mirror image is when this and there's a line down the center, and then the imaging is the same on either side. They both are the same. So you'll do a few of those. Um, I would encourage you to maybe do some medieval um, items. You could do a shield, you know, things like that. Okay, so talk about that. Um, and then remind them that mirror imaging is used by artists, and we can see it in many different places. And today, we're going to show them St. Basil's Cathedral. All right, this ties into the Orthodox Church um, history sense. Um, so we're gonna let them look at this. Say, this is a real cathedral in Russia, in Moscow. And then say, I would like to look, us to look at this for a little bit. Let's attend to it. Let's look at it. And then have them look and ask them if they can see oils in there. Um, if you're not with CC, you may not know what that stands for, but you know what I mean, tutors, okay? Have them look for oils. Then, have them look and see if they see mirror imaging. Show them that if we drew a line down the middle of that, this would be mirror images on either side, but each tower is also a mirror image of itself. So you can, um, the reason I'll have this one in class is you can see a little bit better on these, okay? So talk about that, and then if you want, you can even use the whiteboard to show them that, okay? I have to turn this way because it's harder. All right, so you can have them see that the towers, you know, have mirror imaging. Okay, um, they can do the arches, the different aspects of the um, tower. All right, so then they're going to get to do some St. Basil's Cathedral um, on their own. Now, tutors, I'm going to let you decide, um, based on your age group and your students, if they're going to do an entire St. Basil's, okay, on their watercolor pa uh, paper, um, and then they will, the older kids especially, I think would be great for this part, and do the mirror in images of the entire cathedral, okay? So they'll see the tower, one tower, and two, two, three, okay? For the younger children, it might be easiest to do one of the towers on St. Basil's, okay? And so then in that case, you could fold the paper in half and they could do one of the towers mirror imaging on there. Now for our campus, we're gonna be using oil pastel and watercolor. So um, you're gonna to wanna to get right going. You're not gonna to wanna to waste a lot of time so they can do the painting as well as the, um, the drawing and the mirror imaging on their own, okay? So they will, again, they will use the oil pastel Okay, and so let's pretend I'll be like one of the younger students and I'm gonna do just one of these towers, okay? So I'm going to see my line and I'm going to draw the first part and I'm gonna draw, I might do like this, and then I may do curve, okay, then I might go down, then I may have another line, and I may go out a little bit, all right? So they have their tower, and then they can fill in the oils parts, the different um, 
symmetrical parts you see here. Again, even that is a mirror image of itself. So we have the tower and the different images, but even this is a mirror image in itself. Okay, so they can do the same thing. Do you see the mirror imaging there? Okay, so again, they can look at the cathedral to see, and you can bring in your iPad and show more photos of that, um, of St. Basil's, because it's just stunningly beautiful. All right, let's see, I may kind of like these curves, like that, but then also up, okay? So I would also remind them be, to for sure put the cross on the top because a cross is also a mirror image, okay? So once they have their tower, the younger kids, once they have their tower part, you can give them different colored pastels if they want. So like, I kind of like the green and the orange here. And they can fill in more mirror images. Okay. All right, they can do a few colors. You don't want to get it too detailed because then they're going to use um, watercolor to fill it in. All right, um, but I would also talk about oils, right? So we've been saying to do that. Um, I would make sure each piece has oil. So we have curvy lines and I have angle lines. Let's do some dots. Okay, maybe some dots down here too. Okay. All right, so then, hang on, let me go get some water. Oh, I'll just enjoy my bookshelf for a minute. Hi, now I'm back. Okay, so after they have their tower, oh, I did forget to do, I mean, these are pretty amazing, right, these towers. I kind of like the green curvy, so I'm going to try that with two different... Oops, not as great on the mirror imaging for that part, huh? So I'm gonna do two different shades of green. Was that dark and then light? All right, so then they'll, you'll have watercolors in the rooms and they can fill it in with any color they want because I mean, look at this. This, this is pretty beautiful colors. Go ahead and let them be creative for that and use whatever colors they want if they wanna do some blue because the the oil pastel will block um, the watercolor so it won't color in where the oil pastels are so that's another aspect of art they'll get to enjoy with us today in class all right but let them choose how they want to paint it in so the hardest part for this remember is going to be not letting the parents um, do this, okay? Not telling, having the parents tell them how they need to do it, what all they need to do, um, okay? So just let them color it in, let it be as colorful and bold as they want it to be, and that's fine. Um, I will have new watercolors for us to use. These are from last year, just for the demo. Um, let's see, how are we looking on there? How about should I do some mm, green? Let's do green. Okay. Cool. I'll show you in just a sec. All right, so this is a, a quick one. But again, they'll get to see the relief, the oil, and the, and the oil pastels, okay? Um, that's how I would do it for the younger kids. The older kids can do the entire piece. They can do their first tower and then their second and make the mirror images of each other so that they have an entire part of St. Basil's. Um, do you think I need to show that or you got it? Okay, I think you got it. All right, so that's the basic gist. Again, remember, we're focusing on mirror images, we're focusing on drawing and letting them experience art. All right, thanks.